Well, good morning. My Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now, this is Pastor Hayton. It's another Lord Lights devotional, and I'm so glad that you've tuned us in today. If you can notice the screen on my monitor here, on my computer monitor, picture of a Bible on an easel. This is one of my old preaching Bibles. A few years ago for Christmas, I gave each one of my children one of my preaching Bibles, and this one happens to be the one that I gave to my son, Philip. It sits on the fireplace mantle of his home in the easel here. And I just snapped a picture of it here a while back. And I noticed that it's open to Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 5. And up there I have underlined the verse that I just quoted. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Then in the margin of that I see it says Wheatland. 11269. That means that I preached from that verse on December the 12th of 1969. That's been a long time ago. Now I've probably preached many messages from that verse of scripture, but it's been impressed upon my mind to share that with you for just a couple minutes here today, how we are to be strong in the Lord. Now, who doesn't want to be strong? We place a high value on physical brawn. I know we all, a lot of times work out and, and uh, we pride ourselves on our strength and ability to, to maybe lift heavy objects or we pride ourselves on the strength and the stamina that we have to uh, do heavy duty jobs and I think that it's good to be strong uh, physically but of course there's a spiritual strength that we must possess. And if we're going to be victorious spiritually, we've got to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Now, our strength spiritually is not going to come except as we find it in the Lord. Now, the Bible says, Exercise thyself unto godliness. And if exercise brings strength, I believe that we can do that spiritual exercises that will cause us to be a godly person. And I know that my power cannot be found in any ability that I have. My abilities is so few and so limited that God help everybody that's depending upon uh, the strength that I might have within my own ability. I know my strength is not going to come from my resources. My resources are so very limited. And I know that the strength that I have Spiritually, it's not going to come from what knowledge I've gleaned across the years. My strength is going to come as I find that power in the Lord. And I want to be strong in the Lord. I want my spiritual strength, my spiritual stamina, that which I need to do what God wants me to do, to live how He wants me to live, to be the person that He wants me to be. I've got to have a spiritual strength. And that can only come from the Lord. And I'm glad today that there are steps that we can take to ensure that we have a strength that comes from God. Like I say, a part of that is to exercise ourselves unto godliness. And, and as we become a godly person, we find that the power of God is within us and the power of God works through us. I want to exercise myself unto godliness. I want to eat right. I want the vitamin and the nourishment of the scripture to make me a strong person. I can only be strong in the Lord as I feast upon his word and allow it to nourish my heart, to nourish my spirit. I want to be strong in the Lord because I know God is depending upon me to do the work that he's called me to do. He's depending upon me to live the life that he calls all of us to live Life of holiness, follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. He's called us not only to do and to be, but he has called us to do that through being strong in the Lord. So again, Ephesians in chapter 6 and verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I don't know how long I preached that Sunday. I hadn't been preaching very long in 1969. I started in 67. Uh, so I've been preaching a couple of years, I suppose. But, uh, you know, I do think that across the years, 
that I believe that I have tried to find strength and power to be what he wants me to be and to do what he wants me to do by finding my strength, not depending upon my abilities or resources, but finding my strength in the Lord. Heavenly Father, help us today to follow the admonition to be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Don't let us depend upon things, Lord, that we think might make us strong spiritually. Our strength must come from godliness. Our strength must come from the nourishment that your word provides. Go with us throughout another day of life and make us a blessing wherever we go is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.